what was your biggest challenge in this role, whether it was just from an acting perspective or was there anything legitimately frightening in this for you? I would say the biggest, I've never done a horror film before and I didn't realize or I didn't anticipate how at the end of the day, you know, you're coming in hot in the morning doing these heightened scenes where we're crying and screaming and everything. And then 12 hours later, they change the lighting, you're back in the chair and you're like, whoo, all right, we're gonna drum up this, this like level of intensity, constantly, constantly living in that gear because this movie is, once it starts unrelenting. Mm -hmm. So dialing that up every take all day was, was the most challenging part for sure. And that and working with Ben, who's incredibly difficult. I was gonna say, Ben, was that similar for you? Do you have to kind of get into that headspace and stay there? Yeah, it kind of, it felt, it felt relentless. I mean, I think we, what we did have though as a cast was we were really well bonded, everyone really got on. It was, it was like a very happy, joyful set. Knight is a very kind man. He doesn't create like any friction or tension around the making of the, the film, but the, the script is so naught to a hundred and stays a hundred for the entire thing that, yeah, it was, it was relentless and I would like, yeah, I started to feel the fear of, of what they're going through as, as characters. It started to become like not easy to shake off for some of the, the making of it. And the way that it unfolds is very much like a play. So did that help either of you as you were going through it? It was nice that we got to shoot it, night shot the whole thing in order. So in that way, normally on a film or a TV show, everything is all over the place and you're shooting completely out of order. but. The fact that we got to start pretty much, for the most part, at the beginning and go to the end helped kind of build a through line. So I, I hesitate to ask, because I know the, the book and the film vary quite greatly. Did either of you take the time to actually read the book or was it like, hey, this is its own thing, it needs to stay its own thing? I think we both, we both read it. I loved reading the book and I, I, I love, I always love getting to work on something that's adapted because like you, a script is always such a wonderful thing, but in the book you have you have like often an amazing backstory, you have like moments that you can program in as an actor that that not, aren't necessarily, haven't made it into the script. So it's always a really nice thing to, to work on something that's adapted. And I loved reading the book. And I think it's actually, even though there are some major plot points that are, are different, because Knight has very much taken his own spin on this, of course, um, it's very faithful to the book in in atmosphere and intention, and as far as the action goes, it's very faithful. So, uh, yeah, I loved reading it. I did, however, not read. I I left the last chapter. I don't know why. I left the last chapter until like two days before we started, and that's where I discovered that there is this major difference in 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 the film, and that was a kind of shock to me. Thank you, gentlemen, for taking a couple of minutes to hang out with me. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you.